morning. Welcome into my channel. Well, we are in the Regina, Saskatchewan. You can see a Penner truck up there with two trailers behind them. Yep, I'm gonna go inside and have me some uh, breakfast. So we'll go do that. Well, we are gonna head over to the uh, Flying J now. We finished breakfast up here. And they don't really have a uh, restaurant in the uh, Flying J up there. It's just like a store there, basically just a uh, convenience store. So we are gonna go over to the Flying J and just fuel her up. Figured I stop here because I'll this is on my way over there, anyways. Yeah. We'll go fuel up the truck. It's pretty cold up here today, especially with all that wind that we got. Used a lot of fuel too, so. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Well, they got a Holiday Inn over here just across the street from uh, no from the Husky and even have a bowl, uh, cold right beer and Trans wine Canada liquor Highway. market up Highway there. One. Yeah, look at that. Oh, wow. No, it's not like I will be going there, but somebody else might. And the almighty Tim Hortons right here at the corner. There is some trucks, drivers that are even too lazy to walk over there, so they like to stop right here on the side of the highway and just walk over there. I don't do that. I stop my truck stop there at the truck stop. If I want that badly at Tim Hortons, I'll walk over there and get me a Tim Hortons. But, oh, well, some truck drivers are just lazy. But that's not me. Yep. And right across the street here, we got the Walmart. I don't think you can be able to see it. Oh, well, maybe. But, but yeah, we do have the Walmart right across there. So they do a little truck parking in there, so you can go shopping in there. Well, Regina has got all kinds of stuff to offer to you, you know. Yep. They certainly do. Well, we should be able to get going here soon. All right, here we go. Yeah, we got about 2.8 kilometers to go to the Flying J, which is not far. And this is what the winter has left behind. Icy roads. In two kilometers, take the entrance well, to the right on Highway bad. 6 North Highway I've been able to North drive full speed all day long this morning. Yep. Let's figure I show you a little bit of Regina. I know I've been through here to this uh, this uh, whole week a couple of times already, but I don't know if I've shown you this part yet. So I figured may as well, right? I know lots of you guys they enjoy seeing different different uh, areas of Canada because a lot of you uh, guys aren't uh, from here, so I know some of you certainly do enjoy it. And that's what I'm gonna try and give you guys. Something that you guys enjoy. Because if you guys don't enjoy it, you guys probably gonna unsubscribe to me, right? And I wouldn't blame you if you don't like it, then why would you want to be subscribed, right? Anyways. We'll go down there and fill her up and put the hammer down towards uh, Red Deer. We should probably be in Calgary tonight. Uh, that's what my plan is probably stay at the Calgary Husky overnight because they got internet up there and I do need to upload uh, at least one or two YouTube videos overnight because uh, I have no YouTube's uh, YouTube videos left for even for tomorrow there is nothing there for tomorrow so we have to upload one tonight yep that's it so We'll try and find internet, hunt down the internet this week. I don't know, I, I managed to upload at least one there in Saskatoon the other day, but that was the one that was released today, but the other ones didn't finish uploading, so. So we're gonna have to hunt some Wi-Fi for Wi-Fi today, so. I even tried to upload some up here at, the, at this Husky here, and it did at the beginning, and and it kicked me out, so I don't know why I did that, but I guess they don't want me uploading uh, YouTube videos. 
Oh well. Alrighty, here we go. We filled her up. Filled uh, 207 gallons into it. Now we're all uh, filled up and I'm telling you, that is cold out there. That doesn't take very long at all. Now your fingers are freezing. Ha! Man, oh man. Yeah, it's certainly cold out there. I don't know what it is in uh, Fahrenheit, but uh, it's definitely minus 23 is the temperature, and the windchill is minus 33, and that is Celsius. That is not Fahrenheit, but yeah, that is cold. Oh well, some of you guys that are from uh, Canada, that are Canadian truck drivers, are probably wondering why aren't you fueling up at the Husky, right? Because I was at the Husky earlier. And we are allowed to fill up at the Husky. We have the Husky cart. But uh, the reason why I didn't fill up at Husky is uh, it is uh, over two cents a liter cheaper to fill up here at the uh, Flying J today than it is to fill up at the uh, at the Take Husky. The so the uh, in, in essence, that's about uh, over seven cents a gallon, U.S. gallons. Uh, uh, over seven cents a gallon cheaper to fuel at the Flying J here than it is uh, at the Husky. So you know what? That's a lot of money. At least to me that is. So then I'm gonna drive two miles further down the road to go fuel up at the uh, Flying J instead of the Husky. Watch it recently. It has been uh, a couple of cents, uh, usually about one cent, but. I hadn't seen it two cents uh, a liter cheaper yet, but no, it was. Yep, no, it was two cents a liter cheaper. Or actually over two cents a liter, so it was definitely worth it filling up over here. And plus it was, you know, like I said, really cold, so. And I was getting low, you know, I was almost on the red already, so. Yeah, it was time to fuel, that's for sure. But now we're all filled up ready to put the hammer down yeah we got 900 kilometers to go up to uh, Red, Deer, uh, Red Deer Alberta and uh, so let's go ahead and put the hammer down well we are in Red Cliff Alberta no not Red Deer we are in Red Cliff that is just outside of Madison at Alberta and uh, Guess what? We are gonna go stop at the Tim Hortons. We are due for a nice coffee and a donut, I think. And plus, we're gonna use the bathroom up there. Definitely time. We've been driving for a couple of hours, so... I have been driving for a couple of hours, so I keep saying we. I have been. Well, I guess if you're joining me, you have been joining me too, but... Any of this right here at the uh, past the stop sign up here is the uh, Tim Hortons and you can see a couple of trucks parked up there already so and that's what we will be doing too. We'll pull her over there to the side and then we'll go inside and grab yourself a Tim Hortons coffee. Much needed Tim Hortons coffee. Yep, yep. Oh yeah. Let's go ahead and do that and we shall see you in a bit. Well, we have made it to Calgary, Alberta. And I already had me a shower up here at the Husky. We managed to get connected up with the Wi-Fi up here. It's a little iffy, but uh, we are keeping our fingers crossed that my video will be uploaded by tomorrow morning. But I had a uh, new subscriber that uh, just subscribed to me today he uh, contacted me on Facebook and he said you know do you ever do shout outs and I said yeah of course I do so he asked me to give him a shout out so I will do that so his name is Steve and Patricia uh, Patricia I hope I'm saying it correctly my sp spelling sometimes isn't very good but 
hey welcome to my channel I appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel and start watching my videos I hope you guys will enjoy them and uh, just keep in mind my uh, language wasn't originally English so uh, sometimes the words might not come out correctly but hey that's the way it goes I guess it just makes it more humorous and more entertaining for you guys so uh, hey we got uh, about 150 kilometers to go to Red Deer tomorrow and we will do our delivery up there we don't have a reload yet but yeah, I'm pretty confident that we'll get one tomorrow so with that we will call it a day night whatever it is well for me it's evening and uh, so we will see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m. if our internet works yes then you will see me tomorrow at 5 a.m. so with that okay.